Hello and welcome to this edition of the Wallace State News. I'm Lizzie McKeever and today we will be looking at upcoming events. Later we will be visiting the Robert T. Wilson Nursing Education Building and talking with Ann Culpepper, Clinical Coordinator and Co-Chairman of the Let's Pretend Hospital. Campus Ministries is sponsoring Food for Thought, March the 21st, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Banquet Hall by the Mass Building. This meal is provided by local churches and donations are accepted which go towards student missions. Come out and show your support for the Wallace State baseball team as they take on Bevel State, March the 31st at the James C. Bailey Stadium at 5 p.m. As a reminder, if you are entering the Jury Visual Arts Exhibition for Arts in April, don't forget to submit your entry by March the 25th at the Burrow Center front desk. Today we are interviewing Clinical Coordinator and Co-Chairman of Let's Pretend Hospital, Ann Culpepper, and we're just going to ask her a few questions about Let's Pretend Hospital, which took place March the 7th through the 11th. Now, what is Let's Pretend Hospital and how does it benefit the nursing students? Okay, Let's Pretend Hospital, uh, this is our fourth year to do it, and it is a mock hospital setting for first graders in Coleman County, in Coleman City. We convert the nursing building into pretend, actual pretend hospital rooms right. and invite first graders to tour through the rooms. We have a pretend emergency room, a pretend operating room, a pretend laboratory, um, a pretend hand washing area, a pretend patient room, a pretend um, x-ray. It's an opportunity for our nursing students to do something for the community. They get to work with children. They get to work with different levels within the nursing program. Right. They quite often don't get to meet other students because they're so busy in their own group right. that this time they get to meet upper and uh, lower level students in their um, course and they get to work together. Um, decorating, um, painting, um, skits, dressing up as characters, a whole lot of different things. Now how many schools participate and how many children are involved? Okay, from the very beginning our goal has been to eventually include all of Coleman County and Coleman City first graders and including the private schools. This year we were able to achieve our goal by inviting 17 different schools Three of the schools were private and we also invited the Coleman County Child Developmental Center. Over a thousand students attended and um, it was really an amazing week. How does this benefit the local children and the community? Exposing them to things they would see in the hospital in kind of a fun environment. We hope that if they have to go to the hospital one day either as a patient or with someone in their family that some of these things will be familiar to them. They will have seen um, nurses in uniforms and stethoscopes and blood pressure cuffs and um, had their temperature checked and okay. talk about a pretend operation so maybe they will be less afraid hopefully. Thanks for watching this edition of the Wallace State News. Don't forget to check out Wallace State on Twitter and Facebook. Also check back with us Monday April the 4th for the new edition. I'm Lindsay McKeever. Stay classy while it's safe.